concept. theory you have that actually we invite germs into our body. Ah, yes, yeah, it's not mine. This is, there was a bit of a battle on. Uh, Pasteur and Béchon, two French gentlemen. And Pasteur, we all remember now, a great man, the statues of him for inventing the antibiotic, the, the germ theory, and uh, demonstrating how it works, and the vaccination systems, and so forth. And Béchon was always very antagonistic. And he said, you, one of the examples he gave, he says, you, you drive, you're walking by some fields and, and you see the cows in that field and they all look sickly and sort of haggard and drawn. And the next field, they're all healthy. Does it go through your mind? Maybe it's the field they're in. No, well, one's a nice rich field and the other one is a swampy ground where the grass is very poor. And this is a similar thing with the body, is if the, the, the body, the actual material in the body, is distressed and it's, it's underfed or overfed, it's in a sickly state, then that will attract certain types of creatures into there, which will like that environment. Um, if it's healthy, those creatures will not find a place to live. They will try, but they won't make it. Now, this is proved every day that we all go to London on the uh, underground, and uh, I often think when I'm sitting in there, it's very crowded and it's squashed and there's people from all over the world breathing and sneezing there's probably an awful lot of bugs in there but the strange thing about it most times when I go to London I don't come back home with a tropical disease I don't come back home with a new disease which I didn't have before I left because presumably my body was able to just uh, not offer the right nutrient for that disease if I was undernourished if I was stressed in some way, if I was something else, then I might be susceptible to that disease and go down with it. But people working on Leprechaun on this, uh, who was the uh, Schweitzer? I mean, was he worked all his life on Leprechaun on this? I don't think he ever developed leprosy. Um, and people working with no AIDS patients, they don't all go down with AIDS. So, it's, it's this terrible fear, and I think this has come back to it. We're now moving into a society which is fear-driven. <laughs>